Hey everyone, in this video we will see how we can add data in our database with the web interface of Next.js MySQL crude application. So back in our VS code, this is my project, di project directory and here first of all I will start my server. So before that I will change my directory to Next MySQL and here I will run npm run dev. This will start my server. And now server is up so i will visit localhost 3000 and here you can see this is our web application now here we want to add data by entering the user's data right here the username here and the email here and after clicking on this add button the data should be added in the database and it should be it should render right here so let's see how to implement that functionality so back in our vs code in our project project directory first of all open the layout.js file from the components folder and here we will make a state const I will write save user and here we will give an empty object with two keys username and email and now here in the add employee model I will give the value of the input field as save user dot username for the username and save user dot email for the email input like so and now here we will make a function we will use on change and here we will use handle save change we will declare the handle save change function right here const handle save change and here we will destructure the target key from the event object so I will write target colon and here I will write name and value and here we will use set save user function so we will write set save user and here we will append the data of save user object with the name and value like so uh, here we need to give arrow yes like that and now here we will write on submit and here we will run the function handle add submit Here we will make a function const handle add submit and here we will take the event as an argument and here we will write event dot prevent default to prevent the default actions of form and then here we will make a variable const request option and here we will write method post headers and here we will give content type as application json and then in the body we will give json dot stringify and here we will write save user 
like so and then we will make a variable const response is equals to uh, here we need to give arrows here we will write await and we need to make this function as async here we will write await fetch and our endpoint API users and here we will pass the request options like so and then we will make a variable result and we will convert the response const and then we will check if there is something in the result variable then what we will do is we will hide this model so to hide this model we need to click on this data dismiss button so we will add a class here add cancel and with the help of this class we can hide this model by clicking on this button so here i will write document dot get element by class name add cancel zero and then we will click on this button then after what we will do uh, we will make a variable of previous users and we will assign it the value of all the previous previous users rendered in the web application so i will write users and then in the previous users here we need to make it where in the previous users we will push the value of result and now we need to check what is in the result so we will go to the pages folder api users and index.js file here you can see we are selecting the id from the database table so in the result there is only one key and that is id so here we will make an object and we will append the value of result object and along with that we will append username and email like so and now we will have id id username and email in the result variable then after we will use the set my users function in the value set my users and here we will write result uh, i'm sorry previous users like so and now let's check in the web application so i will reload the page and here i will click on this add, add new employee button and here i will write the username as world123 and here i will write the email as world123 at gmail.com and then i will click on this add button and as you can see the model is gone and in the second page you can see we have the data it means the data is saved in the database now let's refresh the page once again and in the second page you can see the data is still there it means the data is saved in the database and the add functionality is working correctly now in the next video we will see how to delete a user from the database by clicking on this delete icon so that's all for this video guys meet you in the next video thank you